I got there when I was 16. And um, I was young. I was young. If you think New York is competitive, you should have been at Black Mountain. If you liked it, it was wonderful. A great many people just left. I mean, literally, they came in, they stayed two, three days, and you say, what happened to them? Oh, <laughs> they left. You know, I mean, it was that way. It was that way. So that you, if you had that possibility in you, you could stay and you could get a lot out of it. And that, again, is what do you do with ambition? I mean, you can take it and you can become, I'm going to become famous. Fuck it, man. Nothing else. I'm going to be famous and rich. You can also take it, I've got to learn a lot. To me, my painting have pauses. I want you to sit or stand. I want you to look at them because there are different things going on that are not obvious. They're not going to come pew. Rarely has your life changed because you see some painting or you read a poem. Once in a while, maybe. People seem to have that kind of catharsis, but it's very rare. One of the things that the museum really stands for is that we do believe that art has the power to change the world. It gives you a space to step back from your ordinary time. You experience the artwork and then you go back to your life with a different awareness. Um, and that, that is the power of art to change the world. Black Mountain constantly drove home the whole idea that you should persist. And if you fell in love, be in love, <laughs> you know? I'm glad I went there. I'm glad I went there.